Today we're going to compare the Samsung S10e versus the Honor 20 Pro. And the 20 Pro has like four cameras on the back, whereas the Samsung is only two. So the 20 Pro, I feel like, already makes a really good all-arounder for everyday occasions. Here it's a bit darker. I'm right next to a bridge, so it's kind of dark here except for one street light right next to me over there. So let's move on to the next section. Starting off with the portrait mode, Samsung do have different blur effects, whereas on Honor 20 Pro, it's more like filters. But for the overall experience, I gotta say the Honor 20 Pro is more natural and more seamless to use just because you just point, shoot, and it works. Whereas on a Samsung, I would have to move around until I see effect ready on the screen, then that's when I know that I can take the picture. I do like how the Honor 20 Pro do have different focal lengths for you to actually zoom in because sometimes you're just too far away and when you're zooming in, I feel like you're getting more of that compressed background where it looks more equivalent to an actual portrait mode lens. So in terms of being more simple and more flexible, the Honor 20 Pro is the better choice. But you have to look out for the color consistency because as we switch lenses on Honor 20, you can tell that the colors shift a little bit and sometimes dramatically. Whereas on the Samsung, the colors are more consistent and is a bit more saturated so it gives that pop. For the front facing camera, especially in low light, I would prefer the Samsung just because it makes my flesh looks more natural, whereas on the Honor 20 Pro, it kind of looks a bit flat. So how about the everyday experience of using these two cameras? For the Samsung, the ultra wide angle lens is by far the widest lens I've ever used. I've noticed a lot of times my fingers do get in the shot, but it is really handy when you're in really tight situations or when you're in a city where there's a lot of tall buildings, just having a little bit extra wider angle makes the whole image a bit more epic. Now for the colors, it's really saturated, so it's already giving you that contrasty poppy look. So if you're going to share to Instagram or social media, it's most likely ready for you to share. So the Samsung does not have a telephoto lens. While I'm zooming in, you can tell that it's not as clean as the Honor 20 Pro. So that's one of the biggest pros of the Honor 20. So if you find yourself using telephoto a lot, then of course the Honor 20 Pro will be the winner for you. And you can go up to 30x. Now that's cool and all, and I find that really situational, like if you're going to a concert and you're sitting pretty far away, then that 30x may be helpful for you, but to be honest, it's not something that I use every day. But I would say the focal lengths that you do get from 1x to 3x to 5x, I think they are one of the better choices to make because it's jumping into enough where it makes a dramatic difference and you don't have to take like five steps in just to get the same shot. When we switch to different lenses, the colors do shift a little bit. Now, they don't really do it all the time and it's not that consistent like the Huawei, but I do really like the colors that they produce because it's more natural on a Honor 20, whereas on the Samsung, it's really kind of like forced colors. So for everyday situations, since the Honor do have the telephoto lens, that will be the better choice, especially going to all the way up to 30x. And from the looks of it, the 30x seems to be cleaner than the Max 8x, I believe, on a Samsung. So if you do zoom in, definitely go for the Honor 20 Pro. For night mode, they both work really well, and you can see a difference. What I noticed on a Samsung is that it's coming out a bit brighter, or you would notice a bigger uh, difference, but it's kind of shifting it to a bit more to the greener side. I do like the experience on the Honor just because there's a timer on it so it ranges from 4 seconds to 8 seconds so at least I know how long I'm holding it for. On a Samsung, there's pretty much no timer, it just tells you to hold still and that's it. So moving on to video, we're gonna do the stabilization test and of course in ultra wide, the Samsung takes a cake as the winner. It almost looked like I'm on a gimbal. Whereas on the Honor, you can kinda see those mini micro jitters going on every time I take a step. Moving down to the regular wide camera, the Samsung still wins on stabilization. I can still see a bit of the wobble on the Honor. It's not as much as the ultra wide, but it's still there. For the colors, Samsung still wins for me just because it looks more natural. I know the, the saturation is too much, the red really pops out, but for the overall color cast on Honor, it's really muddy, it's really dark, and it's kind of shifting towards the greener side as well. Another pro for the Samsung is that it has 4K60. Now it's not stabilized, but you do have an option to do that. Whereas the Honor caps out at 4K30, but I believe you can do 108060 on that phone. Now for low light, the first thing I noticed on the Honor is that there's a lot of micro jitters. The Samsung do have them as well, but it doesn't show up as often as the Honor. So as I'm looking at the footage, it's really distracting, it's really blurry, so I'm leaning towards Samsung as the better video. Usually I don't recommend shooting in ultra wide mode in low light, but since I'm in a city, it should be fine for the most part. And between these two, there's so much more noise in the sky on the Honor, so the Samsung still looks way more cleaner. And shooting in 4K60, it pretty much knocks off all the micro jitters. It's not stabilized, but at least it's a clean looking footage. 
So for video, definitely the Samsung is the huge winner. So that is my comparison between these two phones. And of course, they both have their own strengths and weaknesses. So you just have to know how you're going to shoot your videos and pictures. Like I said before, if you shoot more on a telephoto side, then of course the Honor will be the better phone for you. Now, if you shoot more video, then pick the Samsung. So thank you for watching. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.